Hello everyone, this is COADB.com or the Coat of Arms database and today we are briefly going to discuss several different coats of arms in the Bradley family. The first is blazoned sable a fess and grailed and in chief a mullet between two cross formy fitchy argent. This was the arms of Bradley of Bradley and also of Beetham. John Bradley, born 1510, of Bradley in County Lancashire, England, and he was also of Beetham in Westmoreland, and he was the grandson of John Bradley of Bradley and his wife Catherine Catherall. Next we have a very similar coat of arms with a crest, a boar's head cooped sable. This is from London and a family or an individual who descended from the aforementioned family, the crest being that of a Barton. I wasn't able to ascertain who the owner was on this one, but apparently he married an heiress of the Barton family, and that is why he has a boar's head cooped gules. Another similar coat of arms, but this has a fess Humetti, and this is from Warwickshire, England. Another within a border. This sable, a fess engrailed in chief, a mullet between two crosses for me, Fitchy Argent. This was the coat of arms of Robert Green Bradley, born 1788, Esquire of Slyne House on Bolton by the Sands in Lancashire, England. He was a barrister at law and the son of Robert Bradley and Margaret Green. Here we see his tombstone along with his wife Lydia. Next, or a fescules between three buckles azure, born by Roger D. Bradley in the 13th century. And we know one Roger D. Bradley held lands in the year 1183. A similar coat of arms, Argent of Esquiles between three round buckles of vert, crest a greyhound statent. This belonged to John Bradley, born 1769 of Stourbridge in Worcestershire, England. He was an iron master and industrialist who founded John Bradley and Co. Or a fess vert between three buckles gules. This was the arms of Thomas Bradley of Old Swinford, County Worcestershire. And his daughter married Edward Vincent in the year 1581. Another similar coat of arms, this with a crest, a nightingale on a thorn branch proper. Wasn't able to ascertain the owner of the armature on this one. If you know, please let us know in the comments. Gules, a Chevron Argent between three boar's heads cooped ore. This was confirmed to Francis Bradley, born 1585, of Coventry, the grandson of William Bradley, born 1520, of County Yorkshire. Another with a crest featuring a boar sable bristled hoofs or gorge with a garland vert. I wasn't able to, to find this one either. But it is similar to Bradley of Kidderminster, who bore a, I believe, a boar's head in the crest. And they descended from Reverend Thomas Bradley, born 1687. Another with the heads shown erect. Argent on a fess and grail gules between three crosses for me, Fitchy, sable three martlets or. Crest a martlet or holding in the beak a cross for me fuchi sable. This coat of arms was confirmed to William Bradley in 1608 in Ireland. Um, I assume, I'm not positive, but this was the William Bradley who was an agent of Sir John Davies, the Attorney General of Ireland, who 
owned acreage in the Ulster plantations, I believe. And we have Argent, a Chevron Sable, a rather plain coat of arms. I wasn't able to, to find out any more information on this one. If you enjoyed this video and would like to learn who your ancestors were and find out whether or not they owned a coat of arms, please visit us at coadb.com where we offer professional genealogy research services. Link in the description. Thank you very much.